Hey guys, welcome to Richard Defy. My name is Arav and this is our third installment in the news category. So without further ado, let's start. Robert Asimendi has created a 3D printed telescope. As the telescope prices have fallen this year and raw material availability has become easy, the analog sky drifter, a unique binocular telescope, constructed almost entirely of 3D printed parts. Rather than a single eyepiece telescope which can outstrain on your eyes, the binocular arrangement of the telescope is much comfortable to use. The key advantage with this system is that it gives the eyepiece level through one axis of the telescope versus a traditional Newtonian, which often puts the eyepiece high up when viewing at the zenith. Now the next news, Local Motors has launched Oli 1.0, an autonomous vehicle in 2016, which has been a success. Oli, meanwhile, is designed for campuses, low-speed environments that include hospital, military bases and university. Oli 2.0 is a 3D printed vehicle has been launched. The low speed vehicle has the same general shape and a top speed of 25 miles per hour and the both have been crash tested by local motors and come with a level 4 autonomous capability, a designation by the SAE. That means the vehicle can handle all aspects of driving in certain conditions without human intervention. Oli 2.0 has a lot more range, up to 100 miles on a single charge. According to its spec sheet, the manufacturing process has been improved and Oli 2.0 is now 80% 3D printed and has hub motors versus the axle wheel motors in its predecessor. In addition, there are two more seats in the Oli 2.0 and new programmable lighting and has much better user interface. The next news is from Zurich. Material researchers at ETH Zurich, Switzerland have developed an additive manufacturing based procedure to make magnesium scaffolds with regular porosity. While magnesium can be absorbed by the body as a mineral, it is very challenging to be processed by conventional 3D printing techniques due to its highly additive nature. Using the 3D printed salt template, ETS Zurich's method managed to create magnesium structures with ordered pores while retaining their mechanical stability. Complex control shapes can be produced with this method, making the structures ideal as the templates for salt bleaching. Although this work is only a proof of concept at present, this magnesium scaffolds has the potential for making bioresorbable bone implants. Next, leading Chinese 3D printer, 3D scanner and electronic device manufacturer Shining 3D Tech Co. Limited has said that its partner Mantis is using Shining 3D machines to produce medical implants. Headquartered at Daegu, South Korea, Mantis is a specialist producer of spinal implants. The Panther, a range of interbody fusion cages for implantation at various positions along the spine, is one of the company's latest releases and is manufactured using 3D printing. Mantis offers a range of different products, including a range of medical screws and minimally invasive metal supports for the spine. The 3D printed Panther line of interbody fusion cages is the company's most recent launch, becoming compulsory in May 2019. Mark Forge has introduced a new customizable offering for high volume, high strength 3D printing. This week, Massachusetts based company introduced Mark Forge Print Farms as a sort of one stop shop to bring in metal and carbon fiber 3D printing capabilities. Each print farm is fully customizable, so the price is dependent on the setup. To bring Metal X and X7 carbon fiber 3D printers together in one price centralized platform, the ability to 3D print in high strength materials including hybrid metal, carbon fiber is increasingly attractive to a variety of customers, leading Markforce to commercialize the offerings. So this was all that was happening in the news section recently. Also stay tuned for more and subscribe to know more about 3D printing. Also if you want your object or design to be 3D printed, there is a link down in the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.